Ladies and gentlemen, so today I'm going to do a review on my 2020 Tundra cat skin interior. How much did I pay? How is it holding up? What does it look like? What does it feel like? So at the beginning of this year, I I was on the market for a new truck. I was driving a uh, 16 F250 Platinum. And those have a very beautiful leather interior. But I was just... I wanted to get a top-of-the-line Tundra. But at the same time, I'll be I'll be completely honest. It wasn't in the budget. I could have afforded it, but I just... It wasn't in the budget. So, short story, no, I couldn't afford it. I possibly could have, but being in a tight situation and, and putting yourself through financial stress ain't worth it for me. So I opted to get a uh, SR5 TRD Sport, but it came with cloth. And I was okay with the cloth, but it was staining too easy. Like, you could put a sweaty thumbprint on it, and it'll it'll stay there. So after like two months of owning this truck, I, I put about maybe, I don't know, a thousand miles in two months. I opted to get a uh, cat skin interior. Uh, and I went with, with their uh, Night Runner package, which is perforated leather. They're not heated. You can get heated seats. Uh, I I went with just this package. Now, how much did I pay? I paid 2000 installed. That's how much I paid. 2000 bucks. Not a penny more, not a penny less. And my uncle just came down from Chicago... And he has a uh, 2020 Tundra, but he went for the full enchilada. He got the uh, the uh, TRD Pro, and it comes with, you know, nice thick leather. But after driving his and then driving mine, getting a... And, and that's one of the first things I kind of eyeballed was his leather. The cat skin, in my opinion, it's it's a little softer, yet it feels like... I don't know, stiffer would be the word, thicker, I don't know. Not, you know, not that the Chandra TRD Pro from my uncle has bad leather, but uh, I honestly think that the cat skin, it's softer leather than the Toyota. And, you know, looking back at my uh, old Platinum, I really, really, I really like this leather a whole lot better than the one I had on my uh, F-250. Uh, so the kit comes, and I, you know, I, I didn't see the kit, but uh, I went over to the shop who was doing it. They are called Crush Customs in Marietta, Georgia, which is close to where I live. So they completely pull off the factory uh, covers, and all you have left is the, the metal and the cushion, the foam. Then they completely wrap them in this uh, cat skin leather. Was it worth it? I think so. I, you know, to me, this looks better than any leather from Toyota. It looks better than the Platinum, the Toyota Platinums. It looks better than the uh, Limiteds. It looks better than the TRD. And don't even get me started on that ugly ass 1770 something yellow leather. Because I think that looks like garbage, in my opinion. Some people may disagree. Uh, but sitting on them, they're very, very comfy. The leather is holding out excellent. The truck is right at 7,000 miles. So I've got about 5,000 miles of driving time on it. It didn't come with the uh, center. I think it was an option. The center uh, console cover. I think this is a vinyl from Toyota. Which, you know, I guess I'm okay with it. I wish it would have been leather, but uh, I wish I would have bought the leather from Catskin. It'll do it for now. But, uh, yeah, so there it is. If you go on Catskin's uh, website, you can customize the uh, the inserts. This This was on their website. This was one of their packages. And this was how it was configured. But uh, you can actually just... Uh, go with the center being perforated and part of the 
bottom being perforated. The package that I got is this and the sides and this side and a little bit on the top. But uh, the options are endless. You can mimic the 1776, I believe, uh, edition from Toyota, which is like a yellow leather, orange, whatever. You can go red. You can go blue. Any, any option. Is it worth it? Uh, I love it, man. I mean, so far... I don't see any stress, any cracks, any, and I'm, you know, I'm six foot four, 300 pounds. Uh, I don't see any, any like, you know, sometimes on, on the uh, factory uh, automotive leather, as soon as you start driving for like a month or two, you develop little like side lines from, from, I don't know, use, I guess. But uh, so far, this has remained as smooth as it was from day one so to me it was worth it it looks good it feels good and for two grand i think it looks it looks amazing in my opinion and uh they also have it for the uh f-150s and pretty much any truck out there but uh yeah so that's my review of uh the cat skin interior from uh for a Toyota. I think they they got basic uh, packages that are like all black, no stitching. I mean, no perforation, no none of that. No uh, stitch leather or stitch uh, letters. I think their basic packages start at like 1200 and, and up from there. But uh, that is my 100% honest review. Six foot, six foot four, three hundred pounds, and so far the leather, it is still like day one, perfectly nice and smooth, flexible. Love it. I would probably do it again. If I buy another truck, I'll probably get like a. I'm eventually gonna go up to a Ford again, just because I miss my power stroke. Uh, but for now, you know, I'm gonna drive this for about two, three years more. And uh, my next truck would probably be an XLT with cat skin upgrade. Because, honestly, that is all I need. I don't care for the big old panoramic sunroofs or the high-tech gadgets. I think I, at the end of the day, I get a, a good choice. I'm very, very happy. No regrets. So, there it is, fellas.